This is Mohammed Hussain, stand-up comic, writer, aspiring influencer, and a professional attention seeker. He has a growing online presence with 20 million views on Instagram and over 10 million views on YouTube. That's not an estimation. I counted every single one of them. Hussain's greatest achievement is breaking a table worth 25,000 rupees at his first stand-up gig and playing cricket once with Brian Lara. No matter what you say in the comment section, I will have still played cricket with Brian Lara. Yeah, once. That doesn't matter, okay? Today, Hussain will be breaking down comedy scenes from films and shows available on Amazon Prime. I'm going to teach you the most unteachable art form, stand-up comedy. Let's go! I quit my job five years back because I couldn't face my boss anymore. I just hated him. Sorry, I didn't hear anything from But I chicken types. So what we just saw was uh, heckling. Heckling is when someone is doing something and then you randomly beach mein usko rok do or tok do. When DJ party ho rahi log nahi DJ sucks. DJ that's heckling. But DJ ka kya hai ki wo agla gana bajaye dega, beat drop hoga, everything will become all right. But when a stand up comic is standing on stage in front of people and trying to tell jokes that he wrote alone in his bedroom aur fir agar beech mein se koi bol deta hai kuch, to flow bigad jata hai. It becomes very like I have to say something to him and I have to be funny. People will disturb you while you are performing not knowing that they are disturbing you. I had a situation like this where I was uh, doing stand-up and this one auntie kept disturbing and then uh, I had to do a takedown. A takedown is when you make a joke on the cost of the audience member. Everybody loves a takedown. I don't usually do it too much. But it's fun to people. So I asked them what you do. They told that I was studying children. School mein. And I said, oh, so the kids listen to you? She said, yes. So when you talk, they listen to you? She said, yes. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, we karna hota hai. Boom, everybody started laughing. Mouth saying, wins the day, and I leave. That was fun, basically. So I was thinking, you should go back to starting with the stuff about your parents first, then go to the work stuff, like you used to. I was thinking the same thing. Mm, simpatico. So simpatico. Jackie, do your thing. So there, what she's doing there, Okay, you should do this material first, then this first. That, that's called a set list. Before you go on stage, usually, sub comics have this in mind. First, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. It's like a set list. It's supposed to look like we're doing something but everything is sort of planned. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't applaud me, I'm nobody! Applaud the young lady coming up. She's been killing it these past few weeks right here at the Gaslight. And tonight you are witnessing a very special showcase. So give it up for our own homegrown girl, Amanda Gleason. That's a great host because he said, put your hands together for a homegrown Amanda Gleason. Everybody claps. Usually, the worst thing you can do is bring a stand up comic on by saying things like, Agla comic hai dunya ka sabse funny, best comic, bohati, great, very. Like, when you say shit like that, no, immediately the audience says, Acha, it's not funny. Hai. Like, you don't want that in the audience. Do you know Sophie Lennon? Sure. Sure, yeah, everyone does. Queen of Godville. Conquered radio. She is a comedy icon. But you know what? You don't know the great Sophie Lennon. This is part of her act. She's a little off book here. Basically, she's riffing. She has a thought in her head that now Sophie Lennon is not like this. This is like this, this is like this, this is like this. And she's doing very well and she's killing. This whole show, if you see, by the way, this girl is always killing. I'm very like, I don't like the fact that she kills so hard and she's so good at what she does because it is so hard to be as good as she is. Basically, it's coming from a place of envy. That's all I'm trying to say. You ever think about your parents having sex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even Freud is like, you know what, I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> but I was at my parents' house one morning recently and I heard this sound. <laughs> this scraping noise. So I went into their bedroom and there were my parents struggling to separate the twin beds. <laughs> nobody wants to hear their parents have sex. That's the premise. That's the ye dunya mein hai, ke nobody wants to hear their parents have sex. That's the premise. That's the world we are in. The setup is the other day I heard my parents. That's the setup. And then the punchline is the sound that she makes. 
and then the tag to that is when she goes i went to the room i saw they were pulling their beds apart so that's like premise setup punch line tag ye jo ye jo idea thought hai na ki hum sab comedians jaate hain stage pe bas offend karne aur sabko gussa dilane ye aisi baat nahi hai hum bas funny cheez soch ke jaate hain aur fir offend ho jaate hain log kyunki yaar no matter what material i do someone is always going to get offended it feels like welcome an adorable lady who if she can't make you laugh can at least make you dinner mrs myzel in a comedy show when a lineup shows there are like many comics 6 7 8 people agar hain to ek host bhi hota hai usually jo har act ke beech beech mein aata hai as like a palate cleanser but usually when they call someone on sometimes they'll just call say put your hands together for next act xyz name but here he said a joke but the kind of joke he made was a little like it wasn't about the the person it was about her gender actually when i started stand up comedy also i also faced something like this aur mujhe pata nahi tha ke ye jo ho raha hai ye achhi cheez nahi hai because i just thought ke ha comedy kar rahe hain to ye sab jokes theek hai but i saw a comic tweet about the fact that she hates it when every time she goes on stage people say now put your hands together for a female comic and then person why can't she just be a comic and i realized तो ये तो मेरे साथ भी होता है एवरी टाइम बीइंग कॉल्ड ऑन लाइक हैंड्स टूगेदर फॉर मुस्लिम कॉमिक एंड नाउ ही इज गोइंग टू बॉम्ब लाइक कम ऑन मैन डू बेटर दी ओनली थिंग आई फील प्रिपेयर्ड टू टेक ऑन राइट नाउ दिस वेरी मिनट इज दोस फकिंग लूजर्स एट द बार एंड आई स्पेस टू फाइंड देम इंटिमिडेटिंग बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ ऑल आई सी इज अ लाइनअप ऑफ मेन हु हैड टू गो इनटू कॉमेडी जस्ट टू गेट लेट पॉज पॉज not a lot of comics are getting laid i don't know i've tried roasting in india is a very taboo subject for comics to do but i feel like indians should be the most okay with roasting because every family gathering i have ever been a part of in my family is a roasting session 13 saal pehle main pyaaz lene gaya tha aur usse maine 4 rupaye extra de diye आज तक मेरा बाप भरी सभा में सबके सामने बोलता है कि यार हुसैन तो जब भी सब्जी लेने जाता है ऐसा जेब खोल के बोलते हैं ले लो पैसे आपके जितने चाहिए With crowd work instead of just going into the written jokes, because कभी कभार ना audience को on board होने में with the jokes and the things that you're going to talk about थोड़ा वक्त लगता है. So basically, it's just getting to know everybody. अगर छोटा सा room है, ये auditorium shows में नहीं होता. But जो छोटे shows होते हैं, जहाँ पे 30-40 लोग हैं, 50 लोग हैं, वहाँ पे तुम बातचीत कर सकते हो, पूछ सकते हो कौन क्या किधर कहाँ से आया है. And relationships are easy to make fun of. क्योंकि हमेशा audience में एक लड़का लड़की होते हैं. जो साथ में आए होते हैं लेकिन वो डेट नहीं कर रहे होते तो इट्स वेरी इजी टू मेक फन ऑफ देम बी लाइक ए तुम लोग क्यों नहीं डेट कर रहे हाँ किसने ना बोला किसको हमेशा हंस देते हैं इंजीनियर है लड़की नहीं देखी होगी क्लासिक्स दीज आर ऑल द क्लासिक्स So like what six months? You look like six months. We're not together. We're not together. No, actually the thing is they don't know each other. The okay, is... ma'am, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> please shut the fuck up, ma'am. Please, okay. Anyway, so like you guys seem like there's a spark going on. It's very obvious, right, guys? They should date, right? <laughs> Actually, the thing is, we came together. Oh, the bitch is back. Roasting and insulting are two different things. Okay, the difference would be, I think, the best way to judge the difference is when you do the joke. Is the person you are making the joke about laughing with you or not? If you say something and you are pretty sure that this person will also laugh at this joke, then you are roasting. Otherwise, you are insulting. And uh, he lost the audience. एक बार audience ने मान लिया कि यार तू नहीं बस उसके बाद तुम कुछ भी कर लो. He could do the greatest joke. Anyone has ever seen, but no one will laugh because they don't like him. Fart shits, yes, yeah, so shits. So I, I love taking shits. I love it. I love farting, right? You guys, you guys fart, no? You guys fart. I'm sure you fart so much. You're so comfortable, right, with the smell? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. So, because my parents are in the audience, watching me perform for the very first time. So, ये मम्मी पापा के सामने परफॉर्म करने की बात कर रही है, which is something I would be very scared of doing. It's not that I don't want my parents to be in the audience when I'm performing because I'm saying weird things or using abusive language. वो सब तो एक part है ही, but more than that, it's my workplace. 
and we are usually different people in our work scenario or surroundings and we are different usually around family and that's why i think it's a little difficult plus like i had my father come to a show once and i bombed it's very hard to justify to your father that uh, you have chosen the right career when the only time they see you is when you're doing badly <laughs> so what was a sanskari sobo gujju girl like me doing standing in her lingerie in front of half a million subscribers guys you know self love ka rasta na self hate se hota hua jata hai all i wanted was some love and validation sounds fucked up na she is really really talking about her insecurities which is actually very hard actually quite hard to do you have to be that secure to be able to talk about your insecurities at that level ek baat to wo bhi hai ki you always write about what you know so it is quite easy to talk about your life and things that have happened to you and your experiences and things like that that is what she is doing but to be able to talk about it so freely and that to in front of her parents very hard to do the mother of all cups was when i met this nri gujju boy for shaadi and he had the balls to tell me that my ass is so big it needed a pin code of its own oh no. my god i'm telling you ye jo nri grooms to be types hote hai na inki to maine alag hi hit list banayi hai ek ek ko pakad pakad ke maar right now she's talking about uh, making fun of this nri boy and all that everyone seems to enjoy that a little more punching up is when you make fun of someone who is above you like in terms of privilege in terms of power but generally like for example in a corporate environment you making fun of your boss is punching up because your boss is in a position of power but you making fun of your employee or your junior that's just rude and mean that's punching down and that's punching up that's what that means and what punching up means is very subjective to who you are kaise hain aap log sab mashallah to bahut khoobsurat lag rahe hain sab log main kya chal raha hai are bahut maine yaar wazan wazan bhi kam kiya hai thoda sa thanks wo isliye maine bola tha ki tum log bolo mere ko This stand-up special is a little special because ज़्यादा तरह stand-up इस comedy shows में audience पे lighting बहुत dim रहती है क्योंकि जो audience होती है ना उनको public में हंसना बहुत impolite लगता है you won't see people laugh very loudly in a public scenario people go ha 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 and we don't want that we want the audience to make a lot of noise it's a little bit like sex the more noise you make the better I feel What we want basically in an audience is one big fat rich Gujarati man with chest hair who is just like ha ha ha. तो आजू बाजू लोग भी हंस देते हैं, सबको मजा आता है. And uh, it is very fun for me to see Zakir special lit up the way it is lit up. हमारे घर में साहब instructions जो हैं वो pointed देने की आदत ही नहीं है. जैसे कि भाई आपका क्या नाम है? सानिध्य नाम है. कोई ये नहीं बोलता कि सानिध्य बेटा पानी लेके आओ. हमारे घर में चलन नहीं है. हवा में बोलते हैं वो लोग. यार पानी पिलाओ <laughs> ये जो इंसाइट है ना कि जो छोटा भाई होता है क्योंकि मैं छोटा भाई हूं आई कैन रिलेट सो हार्ड दिस इज हैपन सो मेनी टाइम्स टू बी इन माय लाइफ एंड टू वॉच इन सेट द वे ही सेज इट ऑफिस इज हिलेरियस आल्सो यू वांट योर इंसाइट टू बी सच दैट व्हेन पीपल हियर इट दे आर लाइक मैंने इसके बारे में क्यों नहीं सोचा इंसाइट माइनिंग इज लाइक द आई थिंक द हार्डेस्ट थिंग टू डू एज एन आर्टिस्ट Uh, because that's that's where most of the ideas come from. फिर कमरे के बाकी लोग जो हैं वो आसपास देख रहे होते हैं कि सबसे छोटा कौन है जो असली में सबसे छोटा होता है वो नीचे देख रहा होता है कि किसी और को कुछ मंगाना है तो बताओ फिर एक ही बार में उठूं It was lots of fun. talking about uh, comedy uh, because i love talking about comedy because that's what i do also it's crazy to be called an expert at something pehli baar meri maa baap mujhse khush honge ki mere bete ko kisi ne expert bola kisi subject mein yes and uh, yeah please comment below and let us know what other experts you want to bring to talk about their life and their art and their skill and their talent maybe a corporate ceo maybe an influencer maybe a finance influencer maybe a style influencer maybe a fashion influencer maybe a chef maybe a waiter maybe a manager maybe the guy who, who is in the bathroom and says hello namaste whenever you walk in you know the possibilities are endless